Hello, welcome to FloraCultureCare.com. As always I am going to talk a new topic about rose pest and their controlling methods. As the diseases, pest also damages on the plant. It is not necessary to tell what happened when they attacked to the plant. Every pest does damage on the plant like diseases do it. Most of them don't know how to identify pest and diseases and also whether the damage is from a disease or pest. After hearing this you will get a good knowledge to identify them and treat on damages. Let us see who the rose pest are. Aphids are most common very destructive type of insect. They can be seen in black, orange, red or green color. They are mostly damaged on apical and flower buds by sucking them. To control aphids, it is better to use a systemic insecticide to control them. You can use carbofurin, dimethyloate, carboxylfen, imidacloprid, formethin, fipronil-like pesticides for this. In sever condition slower growth, malformed flowers or late opening of flowers like symptoms are resulted. Contactable insecticides like penetrothin, primophorce methyl also effective. Mealybugs. Mealybugs are lived on plant stems and underside of the plant leaves. They are depend on plant sap by sucking them. Mealybugs can be seen in naked eye. They are coated by whitish powder. It is helped to identify them easily. Lower amount are not that much problem, but in sever conditions weak plants are resulted. Photosynthesis surface is reduced. They are covered plant and seems like plant is white. To control them spray a soap solution. In sever conditions spray insecticide like dimethyloate. Scales. Scales are small circular or oval shaped insects. They are covered with an external scab. Mostly live on old rose stems and roots. They use those plant parts to suck the plant sap. When look at them seems as a part of the stem because they are completely attached to the stem. To control them needs to spray dimethyloate like systemic insecticide. When use contactable insecticides, need to spray to fully get wet them. Shooted borer. Shooted borer is damaged to the soft stems or apical buds. Making holes they are entered stem and destroy the medulla. Apical buds are wilting when they attacked. So it is helps to identify this pest. To control this need to cut off damaged parts, and add a systemic insecticide like carbofurin, dimethyloate, carboxylfen, imidacloprid, formethin, fipronil. Ants and termites. Some ants and termites depend on eating rose roots. On this reason most rose plants are wilting or die. To control the damages from these insects, it is important to add organochlorine or organophiophosphate pesticides. Need to apply them to the soil around the plants. Use these pesticides diazinin, imidacloprid and chlorpyrifos. Chafer grub is a white color, fat worm, that can be seen under the soil. They are damaged to the rose roots by eating bark of the roots. So immediately a plant is wilting and then dies. Chafer grub does a huge damage on rose plants. So need to collect them and destroy when pluffing, or add chlorpyrifos included pesticide to the soil. Leather Jacket Leather Jacket is a black or brown color worm that live in soil. It is not bigger than one inch. Mostly damaged to the roots and stem near to the soil. Manually collect and destroy them when soil preparation, or add a recommended pesticide like chlorpyrifos to kill them. Cockchafer Beetle It is consisted with black color shiny head and red brown color protective feathers. Normally it is about 5 cm larger insects. It is eating leaves making irregular holes. In additionally in the evening they eat rose petals. This rose pest control can be done by using a proper pesticide like penetrothin, dimethyloate. Leaf Miner They eat the cells in leaves in between top and bottom epidermis. It is seem like paths on the leaves. Remove the damaged leaves or put a systemic pesticide like carbofurin, dimethyloate, carboxylfen, imidacloprid, formethin and fipronil to control them. Rose Slugworm It is a small worm. They are green or yellow in color. 
they can be seen on the leaves. They eat rose leaves only remaining veins. Destroyed parts are seamed as brown in color. Use dimethyloid and monocrotophos pesticides to control them. Caterpillar. It is a part of moth's life cycle. There are several species that depend on rose leaves. Anyway they damage to the leaves by making irregular holes on leaves. It is helps to recognize this pest. Use a pesticides like dimethyloid or monocrotophos. Leaf hopper. It is a small yellow color insect. It is sucking the sap from the leaves. It is seems as yellow color dye on the leaves after the damage. Mostly yellow color patches can be seen. If the insect live, exoskeletons can be seen underside of the leaves in white color. Weak plants, slow growth rate and defoliation, before mature the plant are resulted when attached the pest. Use carboferin, dimethyloid, carboshelfan, imidacloprid, formethin and fipronil to control them. Red spider mite. It is very small incest that sucks the sap underside of the leaves. Light yellow-brown color insect. Most probably cobwebs-like fibers can be seen underside of the leaves. When the insect suck the sap, it has become copper color on the leaves. It is more sever in warm conditions. Need to use a systemic pesticide like carboferin, dimethyloid, carboshelfan, imidacloprid, formethin and fipronil to control them. Rose chafer beetle. It is not bigger than 1 cm. The insect is consisted with shiny green and brown color exoskeleton. It is damage on rose petals. It is eat rose petals. Use a systemic pesticide to control them. Garden chafer beetle. It is somewhat smaller than rose chafer beetle. It has a small black color head and shiny brown color exoskeleton. It is also eat rose petals. Mostly they can be seen in the evening in between the petals. Beetle is mostly damage on white and yellow color flowers. Need to use a systemic pesticide like carboferin to control them. Thrips. Thyrips are mostly damage on the flowers. They are specially damage on petal edges. They suck the sap from edges. Therefore petal edges are become too brown and flowers are malformed. Thrips have small four wings and in dry seasons damage is high. Systemic pesticide is better to use control them. Carboferin, imidacloprodimethyl carboshelfan, formethin, fipronil are the most common pesticides. Tortrix moth. The worm is piercing the flower bud and live in there. If not make a leaf, as a roll and live inside of it. In first stages remove the damaged parts to control the pest. Systemic pesticide is better to control. Capsibug. It is damage on leaf and flower buds. Sap sucking insect. Brown patches on the leaves, flower buds and leaf buds are dyed after the damage. Systemic pesticide is better to control.